My name is Bob Conley. I'm running for United States Senate for the whole state of South Carolina. And I'm running for this office, and the voters of South Carolina should support me in November because I'm here to stand up for South Carolina and South Carolina interests, and that means the people of South Carolina. I am completely opposed to amnesty, both the amnesty for those who have illegally entered our country, and I'm opposed to amnesty for the failed corporations on Wall Street. My platform is America first, America first, America first. Okay. If you were elected to the U.S. Senate, what would you change about the way the federal government raises and spends its money? Uh, one thing, Mike, when I'm elected to the U.S. Senate, we need to, we need to put a cap on, these, on this spending, especially the spending overseas. And when we take a look at the ways we generate revenue, we need to scrap that IRS, we need to go to a completely new system. The fair tax is a way that we'll do that. And when you say fair tax, you mean? The, the fair tax pro pro proposal that has been introduced in Congress various times since the late 90s. It was initially introduced by John Linder from and Georgia. A, a national sales tax. Uh, yes. And it will do away with but not only the income tax, but also the payroll taxes, as well as a plethora of other taxes. But those are the two, two real big items. And a really big selling point for it for me is this is a way that we can get our manufacturers back on an even footing with what's coming in from, from abroad, especially the imports from China. That they're taking and they're subsidizing their boys 17%, they're penalizing our boys 17%, then they're devaluing their currency 40%. Their goods are coming in, and our manufacturers are greatly at a, at, they're at a great disadvantage. They're greatly hampered. So that's one of the things that the fair tax will do. It'll help us adjust this massive trade imbalance we have. How would you handle the current financial crisis? Failed companies mm -hmm. should be allowed to fail. And when we take a look at a mom-and-pop shop down here on Main Street, they're not going to go get bailed out. And if there's anything that we can do to restore any confidence in the system is to say, hey, these failed companies are not going to be bailed out and have those burdens put on the backs of the middle class. How would you handle immigration? You know, number one, we have a very poor southern border. We've been more than seven years since September 2001, and we still have... Wahhabists from the Middle East coming in. They're find, they found hundreds of Qurans and Muslim prayer rugs down there. This is, this is not just a situation where we're dealing with poor folks from Mexico and Colombia and Guatemala and other places in, in South America and Central America. We're finding Wahhabists coming across. We're finding folks from Communist China coming across, where they have more than 3,000 front companies in operating in this country right now, the largest intelligence network in human history, and we have Russians coming across too. We need to secure that southern border, and the folks who have, who have and continue to hire and, and illegally employ these folks who are illegally in our country, they're the ones who really want the amnesty, and they should be made to pay. We take a look at legislation like has been enacted in Arizona. You find that the illegals who are there self-deport. We need something like that on the federal level.